New tonight, a new device is cleaning up San Diego's so-called scum alley. It's being tested at Harbor Island. 10 News reporter Bree Steffen saw it work tonight and the big difference it's already made. Bree, what'd you see? Think of this as a vacuum you put into the ocean and it sucks up all the trash. In just a few months, it's made a night and day difference here. Sometimes the small things. It's similar to a vacuum. Bring the biggest changes. The little sea bin just sort of ticks away and works 24 seven. This little sea bin, just two pounds, is changing everything here at Cabrillo Isle Marina. They used to call it Scum Alley because it just collected a lot of um, floatum on top of the water and different scum. Here's what Scum Alley looked like when the first sea bin went in a few months ago. It had its work cut out. It's here in San Diego where um, they caught a, a cowboy boot and also a pineapple, <laughs> which is really bizarre. Pete Zaglinski helped create it and is now putting in a second sea bin here. He loves surfing and wanted to find a better way to protect the ocean. They're getting like 20, 40 pounds. Sometimes they said they get 60 pounds. Water filters through, all debris trapped by the bag inside. Perfect for pollution problem areas. The water, we'll just push it back out the bottom. And so, just like that one there. Everyone around here has noticed Scum Alley hasn't been living up to its name lately. The water clearer than it's ever been. I think it's great. There's too much trash in the water. Um, I think it's great anytime somebody's inventing something to kind of clean it up for us all. And that's Pete's goal to make every drop of water better for the future. It's something that you feel passionate about and at the end of the day it's it produces the air that we breathe and so why why don't we look after it and we're pretty happy with, with how it's all going. And they say the trash the Seabin catches most is cigarette butts, then plastics, followed by food wrappers. From San Diego, they're going up the coast to hit Ventura and San Francisco's uh, San Francisco to put more sea bins in those harbors up there. Bree Steffen, 10 News. Thank you, Bree. And each of those sea bins cost about $4,000. Right now, we're told about 80 marinas all over the world have signed up to get one. The team not only collects data, but they, they log it for research. And we have a lot more information on our website, 10news.com.